I get to get back to work. Hey, shine like go. They don't want story, man. They want the sound bite. I'm like, no. Looking around like they see you on the mound, they don't see you on the climb. Right? Me and all of mine in the power line. Look at this and what you find. Right? Shimmer, lights, flicker, all this light, edit, shimmer. I had a glow up. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Josh. I'm the founder and master electrician here at Empowered Electric. And just want to welcome you to Empower ED, where we take an in-depth look or a closer look, hands-on look at all things electrical related, probably trades related in the future. So whether you're a DIYer or just you're an apprentice that wants to get to that journeyman level, we hope these videos help. If you're wondering who we are, we're a local electrical contractor in Kansas City that has the dopest logo. That's all you need to know. We might not be the best, but we got the best logo. And Today I want to talk to you guys about pigtailing. As we've been making these videos, a lot of things, whether it's putting in a plug, a switch, a three-way, a four-way, we've talked a lot about pigtails. And people say, well, what is that? So I wanted to take a second and just show you because it's one of the most important things when dealing with an electrical device. When multiple wires only have one single point of connection, you have to take time and pigtail your wires. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So. Just like anything else, before we start to pigtail, we want to assess the situation. And here's one thing I want to point out um, that most people don't realize and the reason that we want to pigtail. Um, I walk up and I immediately see that there are, there are three blacks and there are three whites and there are four, one, two, one, two three, four grounds. There's an extra ground because remember anytime a splice is made, you got to have a grounding stinger. So there's four wires and you will see people go, well, why do I need to pigtail anything than the ground? Because see here on this device, we've got one point, only one wire that we can land the ground to. But if you look at the neutrals and the hot areas, we can land up to four wires in the hots and the neutrals. Well, first off, remember, these are the holes of despair. Never use these holes. Well, Josh, can't we wrap two wires around the screws? I'm telling you right now, avoid multiple power connections. Single point connections are faultless connections. You will save yourself a lot of heartache and trouble if you pigtail your boxes and only make up one wire. So. When I look at this box, I'll start hard, hardest to easiest. The hardest is going to be the most wires, which appear to be the grounds, okay? So these ground wires, I'm gonna get them organized. I don't wanna just grab them all and start twisting them and making them up. I wanna kinda get them organized. I wanna get the hots and the neutrals pushed to a side. I wanna get these grounds pushed to a side. So I have my four grounds. Now I'm touching them. Like I've said, I, sh I know I shouldn't. I'm touching the copper, um, but I know current's not gonna be on there. Before I twist those, I have to get my pigtail. Now a pigtail is any little bit of wire that is about eight inches long. So we know the rule of thumb. You go to the back of your hand to the tip of your thumb and that's about six inches. So this is about eight or nine inches. Yeah, I'm gonna pigtail the neutral, the hot, and the ground. So I've got my ground wire. And what I like to do is kind of bend it like this. Get a little bit extra with your copper wire right here. And you're gonna line it up as if it was another wire. How do we line it up? We don't line it up with the ends, we line it up with the insulation. We overstrip the wire so that we have a little extra so that when we're done twisting it, we can cut it to length. And you get them all lined up. I'm gonna use my lineman pliers and I am going to twist five grounds together. Once you're done, you cut them just like every other video when it comes to this. Twist and make them nice, okay? I'm gonna take my red wire nut, which is good, says the package, up to six number 12s. We have five number 12s. Remember how I said that you don't wanna put six, five is a lot? You can see here, this is freaking hard, twisting these gosh darn wires. Every once in a while, if you want to, you can use your linemans and help twist it really tight. But notice this, when you twist it and you get to a lot of wires, you see that whiteness on the wire nut? You can blow a wire nut up. You can twist it so hard that a wire pops through the end of the wire nut. That is a bad thing, don't do that. So I'm just twisting it a little more just to get it tight there. I'm gonna make sure that my grounds are all good and tight. And then I'm going to push them in accordion style and get them in the back of the box. Look at that single wire, okay. 
Now I'm gonna take time to do the neutrals. So I'm gonna reach over here, I'm gonna get my blacks to one side. Now notice, remember how I said it'll cause difficulties? Look at that. This wire, right, this wire, how it's taped together, it's making it hard for me to push this in the back. So since there's only blacks, and since there are only whites in this box, since there are only hot and neutrals in this box, I know there's gonna be no confusion. So I don't mind taking that piece of tape off but I'm going to push these in the back of the box. And I'm gonna get them tight and get them lined up and get them straight and see right here, the shortest wire right here, cut it. That one's already stripped. I don't know if it was used as a head or what it was used for, but that one's already stripped pretty good. So then I strip my white wire, my other white wire, my other neutral wire. Remember neutrals can be white or gray typically. And I'm going to take out my nine inch pigtail. I'm gonna strip that also, get it ready, bend it over so that I can push it towards the back like it's any other wire and line up the back of the insulations. And you grab it and you twist it. Now, once again, remember we in box makeup, we talked, or in wire makeup, we talked about that you wanted to twist even two wires. So even if there were two wires in and you could wrap them both around a switch or a plug or a GFI, whatever it would be, um, you would want to do this. Look at that nice connection right there, that nice tight connection with the pigtail. Take my red wire nut. Now, if there was a switch or a plug or a GFI or anything else that needed to be installed, first off, there would be a faceplate here, right? But I would be able to strip these wires now, land the hot to the gold, the neutral to the silver, and the ground to the green, and there would be only one point of connection. It is so massively important that whenever you are going to install a piece of uh, equipment or device that you pigtail your wires, bring all, three, or all the wires together and come out with one to make sure it's a good installation. Now, and the last thing I'm gonna say about this, this is extra credit, is if you weren't able to install the device now, maybe you're in a rough in stage and you've got to wait for sheetrock, you've gotta wait for paint, you've gotta wait for a lot of things. I like to strip these wires down and put wire nuts on them. The reason I do that is, the reason you strip it is wire nuts don't fit super snug on the wire. Um, the insulation, they strip, they, they uh, connect better with just the copper and make sure that if the circuit for accidentally sake got uh, energized, somebody wouldn't be put at risk of getting shocked. So I would put these yellow wire nuts on here and then accordion it in like so. There you go. Now someone has to just come, come here, pull out those wires and they're ready to make up their device. Guys, there you have it. That's a pigtail for a device, for a switch, for a GFI, for any kind of time where there's multiple wires coming in and you need a single point of connection going out. I hope that helps you. If you're in the Kansas City area and you're looking for an electrician, don't hesitate at all to reach out to Empowered Electric, 816-500-9452. We're always looking for great people that want to come work with us, not for us. Till next time, bye-bye. Buzz like Gita, throw back hits like Deepers, keep up my might leave ya, team way up like Tiba.